As the terrible war against the Lich King continues, the proud defenders of Azeroth fight to secure a lasting peace. Blizzard gaf onlangs te kennen dat ze op schema liggen met de ontwikkeling van Cataclysm. En dat betekent dat we nog dit jaar met de uitbreiding voor World of Warcraft aan de slag kunnen. Tot het zover is, vertelt Tom Chilton van Blizzard wat voor hem de grootste vernieuwingen van de game zijn. I would have to say that probably the biggest, most notable, noticeable improvement will be to the old world zones from level 1 to 60. Um, I would call out specific zones like uh, Silver Pine Forest or Westfall or Stone Talon Mountains as being huge improvements. Um, those are all, you know, a lot of fun. I think players will be very excited to go through them. Um, I also think that uh, a lot of our UI, like when you level up and it tells you when you have new spells available, a new talent point available, that kind of stuff. Those, those are big improvements too. Cataclysm keert de wereld zoals we die kennen van World of Warcraft de rug toe. Om plaats te maken voor een veel meer dynamische omgeving. I actually think that they're going to like the fact that everything is changing. I, one of the things that we hear the most from players is that they wish the world were more dynamic. And in a sense, you know, this is a way that they're getting the world to be more dynamic. And um, really, for the most part, we've gotten very positive feedback about it. Players that have seen the changes in the Cataclysm beta have been very excited and, and are having a lot of fun with it. Ook de level cap gaat weer een stapje omhoog naar 85. Right now, I would say it's pretty comparable to having gone from level 70 to 80. It's pretty close to that. Maybe, maybe a little bit less, maybe, uh, or very, very similar. Um, in terms of the number of quests that you do and the amount of time that it takes. Um, and with the five zo new zones that we've added that go from level 80 to 85, there are a ton of quests. Voorlopig blijft Blizzard de PC trouw. Maar daarmee is niet gezegd dat de ontwikkelaar een MMO voor de console uitsluit. Well, I definitely think that there's potential for MMOs on the console. Um, I, I think that one day MMOs will be very common in consoles for both uh, here in Europe and also North America. Um, I, I think that that's inevitable. It's just a question of which game happens to do it. We, we've talked about it in the past for World of Warcraft, but it's just not the, the right option for us. The game wasn't really built to be played on the console. So, you know, so far it hasn't really made sense to try to do that. But, but someday there will be a good console on the MO for sure. A new age has begun. The Alliance and Horde can only cling to hope. Deathwing has returned.